Yo, I never thought for a second that we would have any Macklemore on the channel, so I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about this one. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I said, I never really thought that we would have any Macklemore on the channel. He was never really an artist that I considered doing just because, you know, I, I, I was never really a fan of Macklemore's music per se. I understood the, I understood why it was popular, extremely popular. I understood like like the uh, the infectious nature of it, why people gravitated toward, toward his music, but I was never really like a deep fan. I didn't download the album. I just heard what was on the radio, basically. So because of that, he was never really going to make the channel, but somebody requested it on Patreon as their Patreon request. And I believe today's request comes from, it's uh, Pedro Veda, if I'm not mistaken. Pedro, like I say to everybody, I appreciate your Patreon membership, especially at the tier that allows you to get a request in. It means the world to me. Anybody else that wants to potentially become a Patreon membership and, and support the channel directly, if you're in that monetary position, then consider joining Patreon. It's always the first link in the description. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got Macklemore, Ryan Lewis, other side. Let's get it. Oh girl, this boat is sinking There's no sea left for me And how the sky gets heavy When you are underneath it Oh, I want to sail away from here And God, he came down, down, down this is already a lot sadder than I was expecting from Macklemore. All right, this this is this is obviously completely again not not against the grain, but this is completely the opposite of what I would of what I thought about Macklemore's music so far. Like Macklemore's music, like I said, I understood the appeal of it. It's very it's very high energy. It's very fun. But this right here, this right here sounds like it's a like it's a ballad, like it's a sad song. And the gloomy nature of the music video and, and his expressions and her expressions, it, it just like it, it all seems very melancholy, melancholic, I guess. He rolled up, asked him what he was sipping on, said lean. You want to hit a dog? That's the same stuff Wheezy sipping, huh? And tons of other rappers that be spitting hard. Yeah, he had five a bone. And when I passed him that styrofoam, the Easter pink heard a rhyme before. Finally got to see what all the hype was on. And then he. All right, so this is going to be a story driven song, 100%. I could tell. Obviously, I mean, he's, he's literally telling a story about some kid that, or some dude that smokes, that not smokes weed, but that sips on lean, which, which is extremely addicting, first off, for those that don't know. Lean is promethazine and codeine, specifically generally from the company activists that makes that makes the that makes the syrup. And it is highly, highly addicting. And like you said, this is what Yeezy sipping on. This is what DJ Screw and all of Screwston and Houston like that. That is part of the culture. But it is like it's the codeine and promethazine and Sprite mixed together. It's killed. It's killed plenty of rappers, including the original DJ Screw. Took a sip, sitting in the Lincoln, thinking he was pippin' as he listened to the system. Little did he know that it was just as addictive as bass. Not the kind of hit from the kick drum. Hot box, let the bass bump. Take it to the face, go. Months later, the use went up. I honestly didn't know that he was gonna say that at all. Lean is basically one step below morphine, which is one step below heroin. Like they are all opioids. So they are all extremely addicting. That's why he said little did he know that lean was just as addicting as base and base is heroin. So like he didn't know that what he was getting himself into, you know? To the face, go. Months later, the use went up. And every blunt was accompanied by the pink stuff. But goddamn, glove that feeling. Purple rain coated in the throat, just so healing. Medicine alleviate the sickness, liquid. To fix them, it comes with the cost. Wake up, cold sweat, scratching, itching, trying to skate the skin that barely fit him. Gone, get another bottle just to get a couple swallows headed towards the bottom. Couldn't get off, didn't even think he had a. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this the story is of this kid becoming addicted. Like, he loved the feeling of what lean does mixed with weed. And lean is a downer, it, it like suppresses your it suppresses your emotions and it suppresses your brain. That's why everybody says that you feel everything feels slowed down on it. But yo, this is completely different than what I expected from Macklemore. Like 100%. I was not expecting 
this at all. And maybe it's because I never listened to Macklemore's music. I wasn't expecting him to be a storyteller. And I definitely wasn't expecting this powerful of a of imagery and this powerful of a message. You're literally hearing the kid go from trying it for the first time all the way to being completely addicted to it with with like your skin itching and it feels like like you need it. Towards the bottom, couldn't get off. It. Didn't even think he had a problem. Though we couldn't sleep without getting nauseous. Room spinning, thinking he might have sipped just a little bit too much of that cough sir. His eyelids closed shut. Sat back in the chair, clutching that. Ooh, I don't know if they meant to do that on purpose, but when he said his eyes closed shut and then it blurs out for a second, then comes back in, that was that was that was tight. So that cough sir. His eyelids closed shut. Sat back in the chair, Ooh. clutching that cup. Girlfriend came in a couple hours later, said his name shook him, but he never got up. He never got up. He never got up. We live on the cusp of death, thinking that it won't be us. It won't we live on the cusp of death, thinking that it won't be us, bro? Holy shit, that is powerful. We, li we live on the cusp of death, which is that high that he's talking about, but with just, just one ounce too much and you're dead. Yo, that was a fucking bar right there. We live on the cusp of death, not thinking that it is going to be us. And now that I see the cocaine being cut up, I assume that this is going to be multiple stories about different types of about different types of addiction. That's just an assumption. I could be wrong, but still. Us, nah, it won't be us. Girl, I never knew what this dude looked like. Sinking. There's no sea left for me. And how the sky. I, he always collaborates with this dude, I feel like, but I never knew what he looked like until right now. But there is a lot of water imagery in this music video. I'm assuming because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Macklemore is from the Pacific Northwest, like Washington, Oregon area. And I don't know if it's symbolism for like washing yourself clean or, or feeling like you're always that one step away from drowning. Like there's so many different ways that that water can be interpreted in videos. But but either way, it's dope. You are underneath it, oh. I want to sail away from here And God came down, 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 down And sailed nothing He just wanted to act like them He just wanted to rap like him us as rappers underestimate the power and the effects that we have on these kids Blunt past, ash in the tin, pack being pushed, harassed by the feds The fact of it is, most people that rap like this Talking about some shit they haven't lived, surprise That's true most people that rap this, most people that rap about this life, that talk about the drug deals and talk about the gang bangs and like just talking about that, that whole, that whole underworld lifestyle. Like it's not, not everybody's lived through that, but they want, but he just took the sip because he wanted to be like him. He took the sip because he wanted to rap like Lil Wayne and, and none of those things came true. All that came true was that he got addicted. Like that is shitty. Surprise. You know the drill, trapped in a box, decline record sales Follow the formula, violence, drugs, and sex sales So we try to sound like someone else This is not California cation There's no way to glorify this pavement Sir, Percocet in an eighth a day Will leave you broke, depressed, and emotionally vacant Despite how little Wayne lives It's not conducive to being creative And I know, cause he's my favorite And I know, cause I was off that same mix Rationalize the shit that I try After I listen to dedication But he's an alien, I'd sip that shit Pass out or play PlayStation. Months later, I'm in the same place. No music made, feeling like a failure. So did he? So did did he honestly have an addiction to like cocaine, to promethazine, to to? I mean, I don't know if you can be chemically addicted to marijuana. I don't think you can, but you can still feel that need that need to feel high. I don't I don't know Macklemore's story enough to know if that's the case or not. But if it is, that makes the song just that more powerful. You know what I'm saying? Months later, I'm in the same place. No music made, feeling like a failure. And trust me, it's not dope to be 25 and move back to your parents' basement. I see my people's dreams die. I see what they can be denied. All right. So one thing that I will say about Macklemore's flow is that it seems very. I mean, it sounds. It's like he's talking to us in this song. So I get the. I get the concept. It doesn't sound very much on beat. It, there's the the words that he's trying to slant rhyme aren't really fitting in terms of a slant rhyme. But I get. I get that he's trying to. He's trying to get a message across. Like he's just talking to us versus actually rapping. But the delivery and then the overexertion or the force. The force perspective on a slant rhyme. It kind of throws the song off a little bit. But I. But I get what. I get why it's like that. My people's dreams die. I see what they can be denied. 
And weed's not a drug, that's denial. Groundhog day life, repeat each time. He said weed's not a drug, that's denial. Like if, like if you're somebody who's saying that, oh, weed's not a drug, it's just a plant, that's denial. And like I said, it, it, might, not, it might not be a drug in the sense that you can become chemically dependent on it to where your body physically needs it, but emotionally and mentally, you could become dependent on needing that, on needing that feeling of being high on weed. And that's why people say that it's a gateway drug. And there's a lot of debate on whether that's true or not, but it definitely, I do know people who their body isn't physically telling them like they need it or we're going to go into shock but it is like their brain is like you know i need to take a hit as soon as i wake up just to just to just to feel like i can function through the day weeds on a drug that's denial groundhog day life repeat each time i seen oxy cotton take three lives i grew up with them we used to cheat dimes i seen cocaine bring out the demons inside cheating in line friendship he said he said i've seen three people die off of oxy cotton and i grew up with them we used to chief dimes that's one of the things about how you know these things are extremely addictive because you have literally, with your own eyes, seen three people die from this, but yet you still keep going, you know? Came, bring out the demons inside, cheating in line. Friendship cease, no peace in the mind. Stealing to take anything to fix the pieces inside. Broken, hopeless, headed nowhere. Only motivation for what the dealer's supplying. That rush, that drug, that dope. Those pills, that crumb, that roach. Bro, th this he's ending the song on a high note for sure. Th this is my favorite part of the track so far, even with the way the production is building up and his flow gets a little, it's a little tighter than it was at the beginning. He said, friendships cease, no peace in the mind, but still they'll take anything to fix the pieces inside because they're broken. They come from broken places. Yo, that, that that's good lyricism right there. Just the rhyme scheme for the peace of mind and peace inside. Like that's, that's dope. Supply, that rush, that drug, that dope. Those pills, that crumb, that roach Thinking I will never do that, not that drug Growing up, nobody ever does Until you're stuck, looking in the mirror Like I can't believe what I become So I was gonna be someone And growing up, everyone always does We sell our dreams and our potential To escape through that buzz Just keep me up, keep me up Hollywood, here we come Keep me up, Hollywood, here we come, bro. Bro, and that's crazy, like, the, that he's saying, like, like you never think you're going to be that person that becomes chemically addicted or that's that's dependent on these drugs. Like, no one ever thinks that. No one's like, bro, I can't wait to get addicted to this. They're like, nah, I'm not going to fall to that. I'm, I'm in a stronger mental state, so these drugs aren't going to do anything. And no, every everyone falls victim. And especially when you're talking about those harder drugs like cocaine and heroin. Yo, that right there was 100% not what I was expecting. I don't, I don't, honestly, I was expecting something like I hear on the radio, and that's probably unfair to Macklemore just because I can't say that everything he does sounds like radio when the only thing that I know is his radio hits. Of course, it's going to sound like the radio if it's on the radio, you know? Like, I don't know any of the deep cuts, but this is clearly, clearly a deep cut. I don't think I was expecting anything so real and so powerful and him opening up about his battles with addiction and and the fact that he lost three friends and we all think that we can get we all think that we can beat the addiction but but the addiction creeps up on everybody. Nobody in their right mind is like, yo, I don't know about this addiction. I, I might become addicted. Let me just stop. Nah, everybody's like, let me try this because I know that I'm stronger than that. And then they end up not being, you know? This track single-handedly right here might make me go back and listen to more and more Macklemore just to see just to see how deep, how real his other music is other than what I know from the radio. So Pedro, with your request, I appreciate it very much, bro, because I honestly would not, I, that, that sentence I just said, let me go back and listen to more Macklemore, that would have never came out of my mouth. So I appreciate the request for putting me on to this whole other side of Macklemore music that I never expected, you know? But yo. That brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. Those two things are free for you to do and they help the channel grow and this community grow. So, so if you like what you see, even if you're not able to be a Patreon, you know, please consider doing that for me because it helps the channel. Everybody plays a part in this. Just because you're not Patreon, you have ability to help the channel. Now, if you are someone who is in a monetary capable position that you do want to support the channel directly through Patreon, then please consider doing so. It's the first link in the description. Like I said at the beginning, it is really Really the only way that the channel goes and it's really the only way that i'm able to stay in front of this microphone and and keep doing these things for y'all guys but that's really all that i gotta say ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace